Welcome to the Gridiron Expert. We're finishing our SEC predictions today with our last team, the Vanderbilt Commodores. Relentless. Tough. Intelligent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek Mason is entering his fourth year at Vanderbilt. In his first year, he had three wins. Second year, he had four wins. And last season, they made it to a bowl game at 6-6 six and six for the first time under Mason. This year, I feel that this Vanderbilt team is the most experienced and probably the best Vanderbilt team since the 2013 season when they went 9-4 under James Franklin, who is now at Penn State. Uh, Derek Mason has a team coming back with nine offensive starters and seven defensive starters for a total of 16. We know the defense will probably be good because he's more of a defensive-minded coach. The offense has struggled at times last year, but they really picked it up at the end uh, with big wins over Ole Miss and Tennessee to get them into a bowl game. I really think with nine offensive stars, including their quarterback and their running back returning, and the majority of their wide receivers who are seniors, I feel like they will uh, cause some trouble in the SEC East, um, and they're going to be a real threat to a couple teams, uh, as you'll see here. So they open up the season at Middle Tennessee, which is no pushover game. They're probably one of the better teams in the Conference USA. It's on the road, but it's only a couple minutes down the road, so it's not horrible. They'll have a good Vanderbilt crowd there. Um, Vanderbilt won that game big at Vanderbilt last year. Even though it's kind of on the road, I'm going to give Vanderbilt the win there in the season opener. Uh, but Brent Stock still, the uh, quarterback of Middle Tennessee, he's no pushover. Um, they're a legit Conference USA contender, so Vanderbilt doesn't need to watch out there. It would be horrible to start this season uh, on a wrong note. Then they get Alabama A&M. Easy FCS win there. So that's another win. They started the season 2-0, which is a, a big deal under Nick Mason. They're four wins away from a bowl game. Uh, Kansas State, kind of a unique matchup. Big 12 SEC. They're traveling to Vanderbilt. But the problem is I like Jesse Ertz at Kansas State. He's their quarterback. Bill Snyder always does a good job with his teams. I feel that um, Kansas State might be a legitimate threat in the Big 12 this year. I'm not saying they're winning the Big 12, but I think they will be a threat to some teams like Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. And uh, I'm going to give Vanderbilt a loss here, even though it's at home. I think Kansas State finished just like Vanderbilt on a high note uh, last season with a big win, the Texas Bowl over Texas A&M, and Vanderbilt gets the loss. And then they reach, I mean, once they reach uh, their SEC play, they have four straight SEC games, two on the road, two at home, against very tough teams. Probably the two top dogs in the East, Alabama, and then a struggling Ole Miss team. I'm um, obviously going to give them a loss to Alabama. As you saw earlier, I don't think any SEC team will defeat Bama this year. Then they go to Florida. The past two years, Vanderbilt has almost beaten Florida, including two years ago when they lost by two points uh, at Florida. It was either two or three. It was like nine to seven or nine to six, and that was at the Swamp. And last year, they lost 13 to six um, at home. So they've given Florida a tough test, but I think Florida's improved. I think their offense is going to be really good this year. And that's been the issue the past couple of years. And unfortunately, I'm giving Vanderbilt a loss on the road. The Swamp is a very tough place to play, as we all know. Then they get Georgia at home. If you remember last year, Vanderbilt narrowly escaped Athens with a 17-16 win. That was a huge upset. I don't think anyone saw Vanderbilt going on the road and upsetting Georgia. This year, both teams, I think, come back with a bunch of starters. But I'm actually going to give Vanderbilt the win here. It's kind of a major upset, especially if Georgia is uh, looking like a legit SEC East contender. But I'm giving Vanderbilt the win because it's at home, and I do have faith in their offense this year because I saw what they're capable of, and I think they're going to be able to do that this season as well. So a big upset win at Georgia, which will play a key factor in whether they get to a bowl game or not. At Ole Miss, it's a road game. I've said Ole Miss doesn't have much to play for. I'm a little concerned about them. But the fact that it's on the road, Ole Miss will have an explosive offense under Shea Patterson, don't get me wrong. And I'm actually going to give Vanderbilt a loss there. Uh, on the road. So they go into the bye week, much needed bye week after, uh, what was that, seven straight games. Uh, three and four, not horrible. The problem is they go to South Carolina. As I've said before, I love Jake Bentley and Will Muschamp there. Uh, I'm going to give them a loss, unfortunately, for Vanderbilt. That's, I mean, that's another tough place to play. The SEC East, to me, is a very young division. You know, they're, the people are building up there, you know. South Carolina's a young team. Missouri's a young team. Uh, Georgia, even, is a fairly young team led by Jacob Eason. So, uh, but I'm going to give Vanderbilt uh, the loss there. And then this key three-week stretch here against Western Kentucky, Kentucky, and Missouri will determine if they go to a bowl game or not. If you remember last year, Vanderbilt went on the road and beat Western Kentucky, another conference USA foe. Uh, I'm actually going to give them the win here. Western Kentucky is actually my favorite to make the conference USA championship and perhaps win the conference. They're very... Uh, Good threat there in the Conference USA, but Vanderbilt, I think, gets them at home this year. 
And then Missouri and Kentucky. Kentucky, I've said, is capable of doing some good things under explosive offense with 17 returning starters. But the main reason I like this stretch is because they're all at home. It's not very often yet. Late, that late in the season, they have a three-game home stretch. And I think they get the win over Kentucky. And I think they get the win over Missouri uh, at home. You know, they, that's kind of like that new division rivalry thing, Missouri and Vanderbilt. None of those games have been super exciting as of late. But at home, I think they'll get the best of Missouri. And then at Tennessee, last year Vanderbilt defeated Tennessee to make it to a bowl game. That was a huge deal, the in-state rivalry. But it's on the road this year. And I don't like their chances at Tennessee. I'm giving them a loss. But despite that loss, Vanderbilt will go bowling for the second year in a row at 6-6. Six and six. So that's back-to-back -back bowl games under Derek Mason. Job security is in good hand. But he's going to need to take a bigger, bigger step forward as the years goes on uh, in, the, in the future. But 6-6 six and six is not bad for this Vanderbilt team making back-to-back -back bowl games after they've struggled for the past couple years. So uh, let me know what you think about these. Please leave likes, comments, and subscribe. This is our last SEC team. Stay tuned for our next conference that will be coming up. Uh, it's going to be a surprise. We'll have to wait and see which conference we choose. Uh, but I'd love to hear your feedback and hear teams you want to see predicted. And we will see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.